Hey everybody, it's Lissa. Welcome back to my channel and as you can see from the title of today's video, we are going to be doing a witch box unboxing. We have three boxes to get through today, three months worth. I have not been opening them because I have not had the time nor energy as many of you guys know. And today I'm going to be unboxing the witch box. UK boxes, which you guys love here on this channel. I will put a link for Witchbox UK down below. I love their brand, their company, the people that work there. They're incredibly kind. And I'm really excited to open all of these up. Like I said, I've had these for a couple of months, so I don't even know what order these are in. This box was sent to me in December. So I, this might be the December box here. And this was sitting in my car for a while. So I hope nothing is damaged. Um, that would be completely my fault if anything is damaged because I let it sit in my leaky Jeep for literally months. Here's what it looks like on the inside. So on the top of the box, it says your December box and in here it tells you everything that is inside. So I'm not gonna open that yet. And as always, you always smell the beautiful smells when you open these boxes. All right, so here is the inside. So the first thing at the top here is a healing from betrayal cleansing spell. Now this is definitely something nice to have. In every witch box, there is a baggie that has all the ingredients that you would need to do a certain spell and the instructions on how to do the spell are inside of the bag. This whole entire box is themed around cleansing. So this is very on theme with that. All right, so this bag is full of a bunch of goodies. They're all kind of around the same color. This right here is a white sage resin cup. White sage is one of the most ancient incenses, light to cleanse yourself and your environment. So here's what it looks like. I don't really like the smell of sage and I think, I don't know if it's a certain kind of sage, but apparently it's like only indigenous people are supposed to use a certain kind of sage. I don't use it in general, so I'm, I really need to look more into that. I feel like it is white sage, but it's like in this little cup and you light it inside of the cup, so that's pretty cool. Next we have a cleansing ritual candle. Candle is covered in a bunch of herbs. I don't wanna take it out because it'll make a mess on the table, but it's a white candle covered in herbs. It says this candle has been dipped in our own blend of cleansing oils and then covered in an exclusive mix of rose petals and parsley. It says light this candle before and after performing rituals or spells. So that's really nice to have. We have a book of shadow page, which they include in every box. So every month you can expand your book of shadows. And this is on witch's holy water. The next item here is in a cute little jar. This is witch's black salt used for banishing and removing negative energy. This is a really heavy little jar. Here's the salt, really cute. We have a little baggie with a crystal inside of it. I really like the crystals that they give every single month because I feel like, ooh, they do some really stunning ones. This is pink agate, beautiful. I don't think I have pink agate. In the past, it is said to be protected and warning off the evil eye, calming storms, and protecting you from spirits. It's also mentioned in the Bible. Everything is packaged very well. It's like double bubble wrapped. Oh, this is spilt. I, this is probably what I was smelling inside of the bag. This is magical cleansing mist. It's a home mist filled with rosemary, sweet orange, and lemon. It smells so good. I think it did spill in packaging and it's also like stained this weird black stain. But since it was all wrapped up, it only spilled inside of the bubble wrap, which is really great. So I'm gonna clean this off real fast. This would make your house smell really good. Next we have our incense, which is apple and cinnamon incense. Oh, I'm super excited for this. I love apple and cinnamon. It's like my two favorite smells. This is burn for the cozy scent of Yuletide. Honestly, apple and cinnamon is like the perfect Christmas smell. That's probably what they were going for because it was Christmas time. Yuletide, you know, it, it was all of that by the time this box was sent to me. I'm just a little late on it, but I am excited to light these because it, it's gonna make my house smell like Christmas and I, I need that for myself. Next, we have a Yule altar kit. Like I said, uh, we're past Yule. This was supposed to be for December, but this is a whole kit that you use for Yule. So here is the little kit. Um, it has a green spell candle, red ribbon, wooden ivy leaf, yule blessing, frankincense, incense, cone, and exclusive yule herbs and spices made of cinnamon, parsley, juniper powder, and bay leaf. So I'll save this for next year. And then we also have a bundle of sage here with a little pentacle on it. So that was everything inside of the December box. So let me go ahead and put all this stuff back in the box and let's do the next one. All right, this next one here looks like it was from February. I don't know if I had a January box 
and I missed it or if I forgot to grab it. If I forgot it, I'm sorry. So this might be the January box. Oh, this is the January box. Okay, awesome. So this is the January box. Here's the card for that. The theme for this is, this is themed around the air element. So the air element is the theme for this month. The spell kit for this month is a key talisman spell kit. It contains everything that you'll need to create a charmed talisman. The Book of Shadows page is balancing the magical element of air. We have an air element aromatherapy kit. This kit contains three scents often associated with air. Use these scents either one at a time or in combination with each other for when you are practicing your breath work or meditation. And I am actually an air sign. I'm a Libra, so this is all pretty cool. The incense is gold vetiver. Did I say that right? Vetiver incense? I've never heard of that actually. It says woody fragrances are often associated with the air element. Burn the strong incense to bring tranquility into your space. Oh, it smells so good. It smells like a, like a woodsy cologne. Next we have this huge bottle right here. This is magical elements of air scented with notes of lavender, orange, and lemon to refresh your home. Look at how stunning this packaging is. There's like a huge bottle in here. Let me open it. Oh, it's a diffuser. Oh my gosh. This diffuser has been created by us at Witchbox exclusively for this box. This diffuser combines the scents of lemon, orange, and lavender. Place the reeds in the bottle and wait for this purifying and uplifting scent to fill the air in your home. So these are inside of the box staining everything. There is dye inside of it. Oh wow, this is so stunning. It literally looks like a little potion bottle. So this is magical elements of air. I'm definitely just going to use this at least as decoration because this bottle is so witchy. Stunning home decor as well. And it does look like a little bottle of air. It is so cute. That's so unique. I love this. Next, we have the crystal. This is citrine. I said that right. I think I do actually have some citrine at home already. Beautiful, beautiful. Then we have some lemon incense cones. This is a new scent. I do not have lemon. Next, we have this right here. I honestly have no idea what this is. Let me look. This is a magical brass incense burner. This beautiful brass burner will hold multiple incense sticks. I always love new and unique incense holders. So this is actually stunning. I love that. And then lastly, there's a postcard here saying aligning with the element of air and it has the air chakra and it kind of just explains the air element, which is really cool. Like I said, I'm a Libra, so it's really interesting. So that was all of the things in the January box. And lastly, we have this box here, which I believe is either the February or the March box, we will see. This box is a lot bigger than the others for some reason. I don't know if they included more in it or if they gave me a different type of box, but I'm really excited to open it because it is like two times bigger than the other boxes. Okay, so I opened it up and it's just like already full of stuff. This is the March box. It says, welcome to your March box. Most pathways work with the elements and knowledge of these and therefore key to our practice. We have themed this box around earth. So this is themed around earth while the last month's box was themed around air. So let's see what is in the earth box. Okay, so, ooh. Ooh, headache relief spell kit. Uh, if any of you guys know me, I have chronic migraines. So a headache relief spell kit would actually be pretty perfect for me. So I'm excited for that. Next, we have a charm bracelet. Used to collect your magical charms, wear as a bracelet or hang in your home. This is a silver plated charm bracelet. There's no charms on it. I don't know if they're gonna include charms. That would be pretty cool if they did that. But I do love me some jewelry. So that is stunning. We have a postcard with earth on it. And this is a positive affirmation card. You write your thoughts and repeat to yourself every morning. I love affirmation cards. I have a couple of them myself. We have another postcard that align with the elements of earth and it explains the earth element. And then we have an earth element pin badge. Oh my gosh, I love pins. I have a pin bag that I literally use. I'm so excited for this. Is this the charm? Oh my gosh, if they're gonna start doing charms every single month, I'm going to absolutely lose my mind. That is so cute. Okay, here's a box that says magical charm. Oh, it's a little pentacle. That is so cute. I love things like this. I hooked it on to the charm bracelet. That is stunning. I have a pentacle necklace that this would match. Oh, that is so exciting. Okay, we have our Book of Shadows page, which is themed around connecting with the earth. I don't know what this is. It looks like, like a spoon 
a wooden spoon. This says it is a wooden scoop. This natural wood scoop features a tree of life charm that can be used when using herbs, making potions, or collecting earth samples. There is a huge wooden box inside of this, so I'm assuming that's why this box is so much bigger. I don't know what this is, but I need to figure out what this is. This says magical herbs on the front of it. Oh, shut up. This is stunning. Oh my gosh, guys. This is like one of the coolest things I have seen inside of these boxes. They are really stepping it up. So it says magical herbs and then you open it up and there are a bunch of herbs in little containers here. This is, excuse me, this is the perfect box to store literally all of your herbs, anything. So we have parsley, rose petals, and dead sea salt. This storage is going to be perfect for me. We have licorice root and vervain. Ooh, gonna hurt a vampire with that. This has been specially made with natural wood and then hand finished by them. This stunning box contains six compartments to store your magical herbs in. This is incredible. I'm actually speechless by this. This box has been really beautiful so far. I'm actually obsessed. All right, and lastly is the crystal of the month. This crystal is very beautiful. It's like a green, I wish it would focus. It's beautiful green, orangey crystal. It is called Unikite. Don't want to say it wrong, but here is the crystal. It is so beautiful. Okay, so that was the March box. So we had December, January, and March. I don't know if I missed the February box or not. I don't, I don't even know. I might have it at home and I just forgot to grab it. But I absolutely loved the April box. I think this charm bracelet idea is so fun. This box is beautiful. I love storage containers. I'm definitely going to be using this. Uh, thank you so much, Witchbox, for being patient with me and sending me all of these beautiful, beautiful items. I totally recommend Witchbox, you guys. They are based in the UK. Um, they are so reasonably priced. They're really great for beginners because they make these little kits for beginners. So I'll put the link for them down below if you guys are interested. Um, I'll put my social medias down below as well. But thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye guys.